Hey, what's up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here, hanging out with Jamie D. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I'm really excited you're here with us today. I'm excited to be here. So. <laughs> I love the fact that you got started on YouTube, yes. which is so exciting, and I feel like you hear that so much more now. Mm -hmm. Kind of take me back to the beginning of that for you. Um, I kind of just started posting covers of my favorite songs online, and I started gaining fans, and it kind of just all happened naturally and organically. Totally. So. Well, how was the first time you got like that response, that positive response, was it surprising to you? Um, yeah, it started with just like a few hundred views and then like thousands and then hundred thousands and like by that time I was just like, what is going on? <laughs> Do you have a favorite cover that you've done? For me, I like um, my Britney Spears cover. I covered Toxic okay. just because it's totally different than the original song. I like doing that and making it my own. Do you ever go back to like your first videos and kind of watch them and like? Because <laughs> I, I like wonder. cried in some of my <laughs> first really? videos yeah. because I was so I was such a baby and I don't really like them anymore. Really? Why? Like, what was it? Just feel like like awkward moments or just kind yeah, of like looking just back? Yeah, kind like, of awkward. Like that's good. Awkward moments are good. I know. I like awkward <laughs> moments. I want to talk about your song "Rules" that mm -hmm. was on the Hunger Games soundtrack. Yeah, that was fun. How did that all come about? That's amazing. <laughs> um, basically, I got signed a little bit before um, the soundtrack came out and the movie was all coming out. And I had read all of the books and I was, I was like totally <laughs> fangirling. I love all the books and I'm obsessed. So it was kind of just a fun thing that the label got to like let me be a part of. So it was really fun. When you found out that your song was going to be featured. Oh my gosh. <laughs> where and what, where I, were you? I literally, <laughs> I was like in my apartment with my two best friends and I just started screaming. Oh my and gosh. And like, oh my gosh, so exciting. You toured, toured with Owl City, which is one of our favorites, yeah. Adam Young. How was that? Whole he is super nice mm -hmm. and all of the crew was so much fun to hang out with. And it was like my first tour. So it was a really good tour to be on and all the shows were sold out. So I was playing to an awesome crowd and it was really fun. Do you get nervous before you hit the stage ever? Um, I don't get nervous for the singing part. I'm just really awkward, like talking in no, between yeah. songs and stuff. I'm really? so awkward. Yeah. But see, I so, feel like that's what makes you unique. No one wants like, a guess. perfect, like, poised person yeah. talking, you know? It's just it a little you awkward. Are, Jamie. It makes me human, I guess. <laughs> How would you describe your music to people that maybe haven't heard it yet? Um, I like to describe it as a combination of Katy Perry and Amy Winehouse, okay. like if they had a baby. <laughs> it's kind of um, like a retro twist, but it still has a modern feel to it. Your single Tiptoes. Yes. I can't get it out of my head. I feel like it's like one of those songs. Don't you feel like that? I like kind of hate my own song already. <laughs> I had to listen to it like a thousand times. But it's still fun. It's fun. I like singing it, but it's like stuck in my own head and that's really embarrassing. I heard that the guy that you wrote that about doesn't know that you wrote it about him. Yeah, he has no idea. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever tell him? No. No? You're like, no. no. What most inspires you? Would you say it is sort of like relationships or? Um, definitely relationships. I think on my album there's like a more broad, there's there's dimension to it rather than just like boy bashing songs or something. <laughs> um, Taylor but, Swift. <laughs> <but> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like girls like hearing about that and I like writing about it just because Relationships, they're tough. Do you get inspired in like random places or is it kind of like you have to actually sit down to be focusing on that um, task? You know, I usually start my songs in the car and that sounds really weird. I'm just like driving, I drive a lot like around LA mm -hmm. and I like use the little recorder on my phone and it's probably really bad, it's probably illegal. It's <laughs> <laughs> free, we're gonna do it together. But I always like come up with ideas when I'm That's driving cool. in my car. So Well debut album, you're working on it. Yes. So what, because I think I heard early next year is mm -hmm. when you think it's going to be out? Yeah. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about it or what's kind of going on, the inspiration or stuff? Um, a lot of it is autobiographical, I guess. I feel like it has a genuine sound just because I've been working on it for a really long time, but I've been getting all the songs exactly right because I'm a perfectionist. That's good. That's <laughs> I good. I have to get everything exactly right. So I think I think it's going to be great, and I just hope my fans like it because I've been working so long on it. So Has there been like any challenges going into it that you didn't expect? Um, There's been a lot of challenges. <laughs> there's it's, it's tough. Like I didn't think it would be this difficult making an album, um, but it's been a fun process. So I really like a song um, that's going to be on my album, it's called Keep Away. Okay. And it's basically this song just about like those two people that they're always like trying to not be trying and, and like it's always a struggle of like, oh I don't care but I love you, you okay. know, like the back and forth and 
I really like that song. And how about <laughs> tours? Tours. Um, tours are going to be coming very soon as well, but I don't really have any dates okay. set. But as far as like dream collaborations, who would you love to work with in the near future? John Mayer. John Mayer, bring oh it on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I die. I die. He's I can see the love it. I can of my see life. It. Call me. Have you met John. him yet? No, um, I wish. We got to make that happen. It's going to happen. I totally. I it's going to happen. Hey, I'm Jamie D, and you're watching hollywire.com.